In Parliament today, questions on the country's debt levels again surfaced, this time with lay MP John Russell asking the Prime Minister to confirm the country's total debt levels. His questions on the back of similar questions from the opposition on Tuesday. In a place you talk about me play law, Parliament, not people blame me can serve it. Law, debt level blame me, are we able to repay these debts that we are getting? Is our economy in good strife? As uh, taxpayers, will they dig deeper into their pockets to pay our uh, levels of debt? And what sort of interest rates are we getting and are we managing these interest rates with terms of repaying our loans to ADB and the other loan donors? The Prime Minister, in response, reaffirmed the Treasurer's response on Tuesday, saying the country's total debt levels were not as high as claimed by the opposition. Speaker, yesterday the good uh, shadow treasurer asked question and indicated that we were paying uh, 12 billion kina a year in repayments of uh, debt. And uh, the good treasurer answered the question quite well, basically saying that, uh, you know, we, our total budget is 12 billion kina and if we were just paying the uh, debt uh, with the entire budget, uh, that's unfeasible. Uh, so it's just misleading. As we speak today, the debt levels stand at about 24 billion kina, not US dollar, not hundreds of billions of uh, kina, 24 billion kina. It's around that figure. Uh, Mr. Speaker, debt is well below the 35% uh, debt levels, debt to GDP levels uh, that have been uh, stated clearly by the Fiscal Responsibility Act. On average, in about concessional loans, 2 to 2.5% 2, 2 to 2 uh, interest rate per year, and, uh, and, and our debt repayments are just over a billion kina a year, which is affordable uh, given that we have a 12 billion kina budget in, in our country. However, the Prime Minister's response drew a point of order from Medang MP Brian Kramer, questioning the accuracy of the government's debt-to-GDP figures. The Medang MP referring to figures from IMF and World Bank reports on the state of PND's economy from early this year. And this is misleading. We have IMF reports that he is acknowledging, the IMF, also ADB, that are actually putting our, our GDP around the 70, 65 billion. Thank you. The Prime Minister took issue with the figures stated by the IMF and World Bank, preferring instead to stick with reports from in-country. Well, Mr. Speaker, the IMF reports and the World Bank reports that is and uh, reports produced by these institutions on their assessment. But the actual figures that our finance, our treasury, our central bank produce are official government documents, uh, official government outcomes. That's what we can quote, Mr. Speaker. The Prime Minister also reassured Parliament that all critical figures on the economy would be presented through the Media Economic Fiscal Outlook by the Treasurer later this week. I can assure you that, Mr Speaker, uh, we are heading in the right direction and we will finish the year in a much better shape than what our doomsday sayers are saying. So, Mr Speaker, be confident that our country is heading in the right direction. Thank you.